Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to my Greg Block series. Today I'm just trying to craft up the last of the materials for my uh, ultimate battery here, and I noticed <laughs> more weirdness. All of a sudden, all these items just randomly showed up um, in my ME system. And it is probably because... Um, well, I don't know, I'm guessing, but I have, like, restarted Minecraft and all of a sudden all the stuff showed up. Um, so these were the items that I'm assuming... I did craft some other ones for the next... The next craft, I crafted a bunch of these, but these are all, like, just showed up out of nowhere. And if we look, I have a ton of circuits that haven't... that just randomly all showed up. So what were... And these amounts seem to be correlating with, like, these. And I have a feeling, because I set this to craft, and I was actually jumping in between my test world and this world as this was crafting, and I have a feeling that is actually what has screwed this up. Um, so, as it's trying to craft these things with the recipe packages, I think possibly leaving the world and entering the world is what is causing the problems here. Now, unfortunately, I don't... Like, and I also just crafted one level emitter, but it gave me two. So, there's definitely something screwy going on with this. Um, so, I don't know. I may just... I don't know. Should I get rid of all these? I... I really don't know. I crafted 12 of these and then 4 of these using... This recipe uses 4 of these better, so this is all I should have left. And then I think... Like these should be gone and these should all be gone. I think. From what I've crafted, like... These use seven of the wetware, I think. Or crystal, yeah. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to chuck these over the side and just... Because I cheated the emitters in because they disappeared. So I think I'm just going to throw these all over the side. Um, but yeah, definitely going to make sure when I do these big crafts that I don't exit the world and enter the world because I think that maybe screwing it up other than trying to craft multiple things in there at once which also screws it up um, but I just wanted to share that on uh, while recording so if we look at this I needed so I need some more of those so I need 16 of those I know I just threw those over the side but I think we'll get those going Alright, yeah, because I crafted 12 of these and I crafted 4 of these because I needed some of these. And then we'll get that going. And then we have everything else. Oh, the other thing is, yeah, like, see here's all these. Which I think was from the other ones. Yeah, these just all showed up. Like, everything showed up. And I think it's because I quit the game and uh, restarted. And then these all showed up. And I think that's it. Because the neutronium frames I already had. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> that is so expensive though, these neutronium frames. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think... Yeah. We're just going to throw this over the side. Because I did cheat these uh, emitters in, because they randomly disappeared. And all the materials were gone. So anyway. So hopefully, I mean, I'm probably got extra somewhere, but I, I just don't know. At this point, I don't want to, uh, I'm not about to sit here and stress about it. So anyway, we'll get these crafted up, and uh, I need 
four of these. So I'm doing, I have four of these, I have eight of these, I need, I'm crafting these 16. And then the rest of the stuff, we'll just, should just craft with this. I just didn't want to do multiple recipes in the assembly line. But anyway, I'm going to cut and we'll come back when I have everything for the, the last UV field generator and we'll craft the ultimate battery. All right, so while um, gathering the resources or getting the, not gathering the resources, uh, while getting the materials crafted up for the generator, I realized I needed more uh, bastonite for flooring. And I decided to stick the sand in my electric sieve and thought I would show this off is actually pretty funny. Now I ran into an issue with auto outputting into a interface was basically just voiding. Here, I can actually show if I take this out. It'll basically just void all these uh, so you only get like the first nine, and it's just voiding the rest. So what the issue is, this interface only has nine slots. So when it's outputting, it only has nine spots to go. So my solution was actually to add a hopper going into another interface, and that seems to have fixed it. And I'm actually already maxed out on all my resources here, so I can just turn that off. But I just thought that would show that off, because that is pretty hilarious. Uh, but anyway, I think my... Yep. Still going. We're actually doing pretty well here. Looks like we're almost kind of finishing this up. We're just waiting on those foils. And then we're pretty much there, it looks like. Alright, so, um, and uh, yeah, I've been making nickel plasma to power all my turbines. And I also did a little more. We go over here. A little more building over here in my base. I gotta show that off. I haven't quite finished these yet, but got a couple kind of pillars that will be supporting the roof. And I haven't decided what I want to chisel these out of. I don't. I'm not gonna do brick like that. I don't think. I may just do sandstone like that and have some hieroglyphics down the, the thing, maybe. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I feel like if I do these out of the brick, it's just going to be too much brick. So I'm thinking, that's kind of thinking, I'm not going to do a ton of these. Um, so I don't want this like too full. I do want some open space here, but I don't know. I might also try using the copy-paste gadget. I haven't used that yet. I've been using the building one. So I've been using this building gadget, and it's definitely helped, especially building these buildings. Uh, it didn't super help with this. I used the wand, wand basically, to build this up. Um, but yeah, so I think it's coming along pretty cool. I'm excited to get a couple more of those in and start getting a roof. And then we will finally be able to move into the new area. But uh, yeah. Who did it? Is it finishing? Uh, no, it's still... What was that? Oh, soldering ally, I think that was. I would like to watch this, so I'm going to cut here and then we will come back when I get the final component to the ultimate battery. Alright, we appear to have everything. The only thing I am. Um, the scene is putting the recipe in the crafter. 
So I guess I'll just go ahead and do that in case I ever want to craft more than one, which I probably will. I just remember where this goes so I can make sure I get this right. Yep, and then one, two, three, whoop, nope. <laughs> All right, there we go. That is the ultimate bad of me. So uh, this is kind of the final craft of the mod pack. So with this is basically, yeah, the end. So I'm not going to finish the series yet. I would do, I have quite a lot of plans to keep going. But in terms of progression, this is the absolute end. Other than the max age, I guess we can, we'll do that as well. So why don't I get those neutronium ingots. It's eight, it's expensive as heck, but you know what, why not? So let's finish the the quest book kind of right here there are a few that i haven't finished actually there's only really one quest that i didn't do and it's this one uh, advanced centrifuge at the artificial string is kind of like the only quest i didn't do and eh, there's a couple things maybe artificial glue and maybe can look into Rocket fuel. A couple things here and there. But for the most part, we've pretty much gotten everything other than obviously I'm not going to be crafting all these. But for all the main quests, the required quests, I have uh, these. I don't know about these. Th that's eight. That would require 8 amps of UV. I mean, that's insane. There's no way I'm going to be able to put that up. And with that, I should have the ultimate battery. Whoa, what's going on here? Why didn't it accept it? Oh, it needs a battery buffer. Wah wah, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> um, I guess I'll do the... Yeah, any battery buffer. So, UV hull. I do have one already. Um, battery buffer. This I was totally not prepared for. I'm just gonna do one, as we have kind of talked about with the. the problems with the, how the batteries fill up. Alright, so there's Neutronium, that's almost done. This Nequada Alloy might take a second. Actually, it only needs one ingot, doesn't it? I can't remember. Why do I have Osmeridium stored? Oh, I probably made extra. Yeah, because it makes four out of the recipe and I only needed two probably, or something like that. So, that actually wasn't bad. I would like to get these running on UV, but, man, that's, you're talking a lot of, <laughs> that is a lot of EU for tech that we're going to need for that, but, hey, why not? I have stocked up on my nickel plasma for my plasma turbines, which I'm going to be getting a whole lot more. Ooh, 
What is taking it so long? Go, go, go. <laughs> All right. And there we go. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And I'll probably get the max age one. I'll take a screenshot of that one just because it's kind of like the pack is finished. Now, I don't think there's any real. Yeah, once you get the neutronium plates, you'll be able to make the max machine hull. It's not really used for much, but it's a symbol of completing the pack, a different type of trophy. Actually, there is something I can use this for. So this is not going to be going to waste. And I can actually, why don't we actually, now that I'm thinking, why don't I get that set up? Do I have, I have room in that one. Do I have room in this? I do. All right. I am going to set up. An auto crafting for my turbines, I think. So I can make neutronium rotors for my turbines. And really push my power gen to the max. Alright, so that is extruder. And then done this many times. One of these to an LA that does a screw. And then that should get me Wow, that takes a long time. <laughs> Those neutronium recipes, holy cow, do they take a lot of time. There's the screw. I hate how they're not. I know this is totally pointless and doesn't even mean anything, but I like when they're all, they match. That kind of matches that, but not really. All right, so there's my screws and then turbine, neutronium, let's do it this way. I could have still throw it in there. I have an empty spot there. All right, so I need titanium, a long rod, and I don't know if I have enough for that. Um, I need to take these plates out so I can. Yeah, I do have enough actually. Let's just craft this up. Machine casing. Oh, it needs a max machine hull. Just kidding. All right. So <laughs> the machine hull for that. Actually, let me get the neutronium things crafting up. So I need eight of these. And the max machine hall is that I have, oh, just two superconductor wires. That's it. All right, so that's nothing. I already have one as well. I need one more. And I hate when that. I'm short like a screwdriver. Let's just make iron. And miss oh man, the files is being used as well. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, what can I do here? Because that Neutronium recipe is going to take a little while. And I don't want to cancel it. And it is using up the same thing that I do my iron ones in. Alright, so there's a file. Two rods. Stick and what was it? Hammer? Alright, there's a screwdriver. Now. One more of those. I'll just cancel that. Do I have the tungsten steel? Where is it? Did it cook that tungsten up? I didn't even see that. Weird, I didn't even see that tungsten go in. It's like magic. <laughs> right before my eyes. Stuff is just disappearing and appearing. Right, and the vending machine, this thing. We'll just kind of remove these for now and let this do that craft first and then we'll let this go because this takes a long time. And then we'll put those back in. All right, so that... Did I get that? Yeah. All right, let's try this again. So max... Where did I put it? Oh, nah. I put mass in. Oh, it needs to be in a... Um, I guess I'll do... a recipe. Because I probably will be creating these again, and the reason for that is for well, my turbines, actually. Um, assembler, assembler, where are you? Ooh. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. For a second, I thought I had the wrong U for tick. I thought I had a, to get a better machine than EV to craft that. But All right. Here we go. And let's take a screenshot of that. So there we go. That is kind of like the final quest in the mod pack. Let me get the... Oh, there's no thing. Where's my trophy? I need like a big cool trophy. That did... Oh, that was anti-climantic. Oh, I'll have to mention that on the Discord. That it should at least give a trophy or something. Can you place these down? Yeah, you can. There we go. I'll just leave it like right here. There's my trophy. No. But anyway, the what I'm going to probably use these for is... I actually quite like that texture. That looks cool. Is the max rotor holder. There's no like machines as we can see. But they do it the inputs and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to do it for the max rotor holder, which means my machine, the turbines will be able to go as fast as possible with these in there. So I get super cut new wires and a rubber ring. Uh, so can I, yeah, I can. Hmm. 
Wait, dang it, I exited out. Oh well, I'll get that fixed. I forgot to automate the recipe with a max machine hole. I'll do that one though, while we're here. But yeah, I forgot to do, I forgot to set this machine hole from the, Mac, the casing. All right, but anyway, that I probably can do yeah, why don't we, uh, I'll get that going. All right, so ultimate battery, ultimate battery buffer. Now, I'm going to have to get, I want all my, I'm actually going to, what am I going to do down here is going to feed maybe into like, where does this one come from? Maybe I'll put the battery buffer here and then I'll send, I don't need a 16 or eight times anymore because this is only going to carry one amp. The problem with that is UV cable. Now I can use superconducting wire if I want. The only other option is Nikwada alloy. So, do I want superconducting cables? I guess I should. The only problem is these don't get covered, so if I touch them, I will die. They don't have any loss. Um, but the only other issue is, since they don't have a covering, like these are uncraftable, I can't paint those. And I really like having my cables color-coded so I know which voltage is going through them so I don't I've talked to myself into not using the superconducting coils even though there is no loss on the wires and it's the best type I don't like having a mass of cables which I can't immediately tell what voltage is going through them all right so I'm thinking if I put this like Obviously, this is going to be moved um, when I get to my new base, but uh, maybe kind of like right here, and then I will have it coming out to a transformer. Actually, if I do it through a ZPM, that would send... I would need to do two transformers, and that would send out 16 amps. So I would actually would need this cable, ironically, because one transformer transound to four amps. I'm actually going to have to send this to four transformers, because a transformer can only accept one amp and output four amps. So actually, no. This is going to output one amp. I put this in here it's gonna start filling um, it's never gonna fill up <laughs> there's no way uh, with that size of a battery okay so this is gonna output one amp and turns it into if I transform it down to ZPM let me get a transformer UV transformer so I want this one Uh, easy, I mean, it's easy stuff to craft, but uh, it just takes time. All right, so actually, let me uh, let me cut. Let me get the transformers that I'm going to need, and then we will quickly set this up um, before the end of the episode. And I think that will be a good place to end this. So let me cut, and I will be back. All right, I think I got everything that I need here. I decided to move this down. Let's see, it comes over. Yeah. So we'll put ultimate battery buffer. Double check battery buffer there, and then we will. So many things that I need. <laughs>
we will I'll put that to the top right and then I have a cable I think I need I think I'm gonna need two of these actually all right so I do have two that's ZPM no this is not Ooh, that could have been bad. I gotta put the transformer there. So the transformer, ultimate transformer, facing down that way. All right, now that's transforming it down to ZPM. So ZPM's coming out, and then I want the ZPM transformer, which transforms it down. Oops. to LUV and I did a backup before I started this so in theory we should be good here I keep doing that <laughs> probably because I'm used to my sword being there and that's kind of my main default thing all right oh lag spike so ultimate battery down to ZPM, down to LEV, into the battery buffer. Now, when the more tiers of batteries get added, I will actually have a battery buffer for ZPM as well. So here's the moment of truth. No explosions. All right, no explosions. That is filling up. Let's go see what's going on up there. And that is filling up. I guess I could. How about we do neutronium? I'll get that going and that'll turn my blast furnaces on. How about I request, I don't know, 10 neutronium. That has to craft a whole lot of stuff. But it takes a while and it does a pretty decent drain on my. So there we go, it's going down. Now I also. That going up or down? All right, that's going up. The problem here is this is sending out one. This is sending the ZPM four, and that's only transferring down one of the amps. So three of the amps is being wasted. So I need to technically, I need to add more transformers and send them into that thing, like I did with the EV battery buffer. Um, so that's good to know. But I turned this off so I could break that. I got the max rotor holder. Let that form. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. It will, since it's running technically. So, hmm, <laughs> I gotta wait till this, there we go. And there is my neutronium turbine rotor. Looks the same as the other one. All right, but there we go, it goes up to 12,000 RPM. I'll put in 19,000. Oh, it's probably still burning the nickel plasma so it hasn't reset yet it's going to take a while for this to reset like a long time but eventually with the 12,000 rpm and the neutronium um rotor this will be about 32,000 i think um and i've tested this but even with a ZP the zpm hatch it did not put any more so i think these turbines are maxed at luv I don't think they can output anymore, even with a max holder and neutronium rotor, which is the absolute best we can do. But anyway, that is outputting there. And that is definitely going up, right? 
Yeah. And if everything was working correctly, this would be going up as well. But that is going down. And the reason it's not getting enough amps, like I said. So it's not draining enough out. So actually, I, I could. Why don't I? I need to wrap up this episode. I could move it down here. Move these down away. Kind of get this this water thing needs to not be where it is either. It's kind of in the way. But I'm thinking like if we look at I'll have it set up kind of like this. So I'll have my UV battery. I'll have right. So the Let's do with these two. So that's my UV battery. I'll have the the ZPM transformer, and I'll have four of the ZPM to LUV transformers, and then I'll have that all feeding into the LUV, the ludicrous voltage 16 slot battery. I think that's what I'll do. But these have to be all separate. So I would have to do. Like one to that side, one to this side, one to this side, and like one on top. But all these cables would have to be all separate. So I did it before. Um, but that I will do during, uh, in between episodes. And finally, we've kind of completely, I feel like we've completed the pack. There's nothing else I really want to do on this side. I think it's time to start moving our base to our final build. So um, I do, I want to get into maybe the spatial pylon to transfer AE channels from my base over here to the thing over there wirelessly. Um, I'll look into that possibly. I would like to have like a main central room Where, like, if I do this, I can, like, I'll end up in the, the main kind of central room, which I don't want it to be raining, obviously. I'll put a roof up there. I'll get these all chiseled up. So I have a lot of work to do getting this base prepared to move in. Um, and maybe we can check out the copy-paste gadget, too. I want to I wanna try that and see if it will copy this entire structure. Because that would be pretty cool. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.